Environmentally sound practices have become a regular part of seacoast life in recent years. Many towns have initiated efforts to preserve and protect the environment. The town of Lee is quite reflective of these local efforts. And in our next story, Tracy Peak uncovers the history of solid waste management in the town of Lee. As part of our May show dedicated to Earth Day, we will show how a small town has dealt with the growing problems of landfills. Here, Dr. Richard Wyrick of Lee talks about what the Lee landfill looked like before its transformation. It's uh, difficult to imagine when you see what the area looks like now, what it did look like uh, several years ago, because you know everybody just brought their stuff in and dumped it in a big pile on this big bank up above a wetland. And whenever the weather permitted, then the whole, the whole mess was burned. A fire was lit and let it burn off, and then you start all over again. And it was a haven for rats. There were rats there that were bigger than cats. And uh, you can imagine that's the smell that went along with that. So it wasn't a very good place to have close to have situated close to the school, close to the playground, close to the center of town. Um, and so it really was a, not only a bad looking thing, it was an environmental problem and it still costs money to operate that one too. So there's a substantial difference between what it used to be and what it is now. The history of problems with dumps and landfills dates back several decades throughout all of our country. Local awareness and local efforts have managed to start reversing the serious problems that went along with landfills. Dr. Wyrick talks about Lee's effort to organize a committee for waste management. There, there are really two stages that the organization was taking place on this. One was in the deep dark past when we were dealing with a new state law that said that towns could no longer burn their dumps, which is what most towns were doing. So at that time, the town of Lee established a solid waste committee just to look at what some of the options might be in terms of the alternative to an open burning dump, which is what we had. And uh, by the time that committee was through with its work, it had found out that there was going to be a waste to energy incinerator located on the campus in Durham that would be taking the solid waste from several different towns in a cooperative. And as a result of that decision, Lee got a transfer station which collected the solid waste from the town of Lee. And uh, that material was then collected in the transfer station, compacted and brought to the incinerator in uh, Durham. So that was the first stage. The second stage was after the uh, incinerator had been in operation for a while, we realized, or the town realized, that there could be substantial savings if we could bypass as much as we could that was going into the incinerator through recycling and separating out material that wouldn't burn anyway or material that could be uh, better used for uh, either recycling or reuse in, in other ways. And so that's when the second committee was established, and that's the one I'm now on. Randy Stevens, Lee Road agent and manager of the transfer station, speaks about the recycling effort. Among the things recycled in Lee are aluminum cans, cardboard, paper, plastics, oil, tires, and metals. The glass we get between five and twenty-two dollars a ton for, depending on the color. That goes to a plant in Connecticut where it is reused to make new glass. And you can use up to 100 percent used glass in the manufacture of new glass. Uh, the aluminum cans we haul to a local salvage yard, um, seven hundred dollars a ton. The price we get paid, they go into the to make into remanufacture of making new aluminum products, including cans. 
I feel it's working very well. We have, I'm estimating we have between 40 and 50 percent participation, which is considered pretty good, considering a lot of people have curbside pickup. Uh, most people come in seem to enjoy doing it and saving the town money and also uh, helping the environment by doing so. As environmental awareness expands, participation will continue to increase. Here, Stevens talks about what the future holds for the Lee Transfer Station. 13 town Lamprey Regional District is considering putting in an MRF, Materials Recovery Facility. One problem with those is, as you can probably guess, you don't get a very clean product. Other possibilities that Lamprey might do is to have individual towns be a collection center for individual towns who collect recyclables. There's likely to be some sort of change. I don't see things changing a lot here. We probably won't get into doing more items uh, until we see what happens with Lamprey. The future of recycling is bright throughout the seacoast. The efforts of small towns like Lee will help ensure an environmentally safe future for all of us.